Talk UK, East London, Canary Wall. No, mate, they don't. I see the man who's right here. You know, I know him. Two weight world champion. We need to put some respect in his name, right? Respect, yeah. Just Very Paulie Malinaji. What's going on, bro? Chilling, chilling. How you doing? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Fight week. Loma, Campbell. It's going to be a, a cracker. Um, you see the people that have come out. Mm -hmm. Polomachenko over here, mm -hmm. they do yeah, people truly recognise him. Yeah, people are the expecting to see him. Yeah, people expect a, a, a treat to be able to see him. But, you know, Campbell's also a, a worthy adversary, and I think it'll be a good fight. Shocks do happen, mm -hmm. as you saw with uh, Andy Joshua, Andy Lewis Jr. Mm -hmm. And that's been rubber stamp for December the seventh. Mm -hmm. Hey, I know you're sick with the breakdowns. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna let you do this freestyle. No, I mean, yeah. I mean, no I hook, no hook. I think, I think with, uh, I think with, uh, with uh, the rematch, you basically need a more focused Joshua in the fight. I don't think the fight's gonna be that easy, but I think a more focused Joshua will be willing to dig in a little bit. I think uh, he found himself in unfamiliar territory when he was down against Ruiz, meaning he didn't expect to be down against Ruiz. I felt like in the Klitschko fight when he was down, he wasn't uncomfortable because he got up and fought. But it's almost like he expected that he might be down in the Klitschko fight, so he knew how to overcome it mentally, you know. And, he, and I think when he went down to the Ruiz fight, I think he found himself in a place he didn't expect to be in this mm -hmm. fight. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. he was mentally right for it. I don't think he was mentally ready for it once he was down. And I don't think he ever recovered. Yeah. What have you made of the criticism since the first fight? I mean, there's been a lot of it. I mean, right everybody, wow. everybody pulls out the daggers when you lose. You know, that's yeah, just yeah, yeah. part of being an entertainer and part of being a fighter. You're going to have to deal with it. And I'm sure uh, Joshua is learning to, to deal with it. And uh, I don't expect it to affect him for the rematch. But I do think the rematch is still a tough fight because you don't get rid of a Mexican fighter that easily. Their culture is to be fighters. Their culture is to dig down deep. So even if you put Ruiz in trouble, he's not going to go away very easily. Yeah. There's been a lot of uh, talk about the spat between... Uh, the last of the undisputed at heavyweight, Mr. Lennox Lewis oh. and um, Andy Joshua. Was it a call? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm down in two minutes. Right. Don't leave it up. Oh. So, um, um, there's been a lot of, of that spat made over here, so especially. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, what uh, do you reckon? Was it was it a bit disrespectful or, or was Joshua? I mean, listen, Lennox was just being, uh, you know, he was he's a pundit now, you know. So a pundit has to give his his input. You know, sometimes it's a bit more difficult. You know, um, you know, at, at the end of the day. AJ is in a situation where he can go fight and, 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 and make things right, uh, right the wrongs of the defeat, you know, um, the, the media, the, the, the fans in general, it's all very fickle at the end of the day, you know, if, if you do a great, if you're doing great, you're the great, greatest thing ever, if you're not doing great, you know, they're, they jump off the bandwagon real quick and even throw the daggers at you, so, you know, I think every athlete has been through that process, you know, um, and it's so funny to see it when it changes over, you know, be, be when it goes from negative to positive or when it goes from positive to negative. At a certain point, you almost have to laugh it off, you know. Uh, but at day's end, uh, I think all the opinions, whether it's from Lennox or whether it's from everybody else, and from myself, they don't really matter, you know. You have to go in there and do the job in the rematch. Just to conclude, now we've been blessed to see all the, the major heavyweights fight this year, and I know you've covered a lot of these fights. Who, in your humble opinion, is the number one heavyweight in the world? From what you see. In my opinion, uh, Tyson, has everything. Tyson Fury is the best heavyweight in the world right now, in my opinion. Okay. Wow. Rick Ross? What are you saying, Rick Ross? Uh, hey, Rick I, Ross and Paulie Malinacci. Rick Ross is cousin. I fully back there 100%. He's the number one guy. Well, you heard number that. Number one heavyweight. And that's what now disrespecting other heavyweights who are fun fighters and good fighters. I just don't know if anybody can beat Fury, you know? Uh, and Wilder is definitely, for me, the next best thing. So the fact that Fury and Wilder is going to get made, again, is, uh, is interesting. But Ortiz is not to be slept on. That's not a guy to sleep on. Paulie, it's been a pleasure. Hey, have some fish and chips. It's almost Friday. Yeah, I'm going. <laughs> My guy. Thanks, Paulie. Cheers. Cheers, man. Thank you. Cheers.